God's blessings to you. I have to say there's there's a lot of great commentaries in my library uh, from guys like William Hendrickson and uh, Charles Bridge, many others. In fact, uh, the, the Geneva series of commentaries is just wonderful. But this is a great little commentary that uh, I think uh, deserves more credit. Uh, came out about 50 or 60 years ago. Actually, back in the 1960s, it was it came out from uh, M. R. Dehan. Dehan was a got his Master's of Divinity, um, and uh, I don't have the actual credentials here for him. But let me just get quickly get into this um, this commentary for you. Uh, it's a commentary on the Book of Jonah, fact or fiction, and he clears it up right from the start. Of course. Um, any real student of the Bible knows that Jesus himself um, is on record in uh, the Gospel of Matthew as well as in Luke as uh, saying that indeed uh, Jonah, uh, that account is not a fable. It, is, it, it was a, an actual uh, historical event that happened. Now this is the clarification or qualifier I might say um, that many, many uh, misinterpret, get wrong, and misunderstand. Although Jonah and that account did occur, um, that was not a natural event in history. That was a, what I would like to say, um, a divine event. Um, Jonah being swallowed by the whale and being able to live inside the whale's belly for three days um, was not a, a, a natural possibility, a human natural possibility, um, and that is why it was a miracle. It was a divine, supernatural event. But the biggest thing, um, maybe the biggest takeaway from the book of Jonah, and it's talked about in this book, this commentary, is the fact that uh, it's representative of the gospel. It's representative of the death and the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus. Uh, of course, the three days is very representative. You know, very representative of uh, the three days that uh, uh, Jesus uh, had, had was passed away and and uh, rose on the third day, as just as Jonah uh, was uh, able to preach again and lived again um, after being in the whale for three days. And that's the other quick quick thing to, to mention is a lot of people think that uh, Jonah lived and was alive in the whale. That is not the case. He, just like Jesus had died, uh, Jonah had died as well in the whale and then came to life again um, when the whale uh, vomited up Jonah, and Jonah was a, uh, fully alive and fully ready to preach again, just as Jesus is fully alive today, lives on uh, at the right hand of God. So, great book if you need clarification on Jonah. Uh, there's some commentaries, sometimes it's harder to find commentaries on Jonah, but this is a great one.